Hey everyone, Eric with a K here. Today's video is going to be on an in-depth tutorial on how I do my face, my foundation. I don't really do many videos like this because I don't really have a full, huge skin routine for my foundation, but since we're changing seasons, I think it's important to update you guys on what my actual routine is for my foundation to my skincare. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's get started. Skincare is just as important to foundation, so we're gonna start with that. That is the Rockstyle Cosmetics Brightening Serum. We're gonna put that on first. You can see that it definitely helps with that red mark that was on my face. Then we're gonna go in with the Rockstyle Cosmetics Complexion Cream. I use both of these all season long. They're amazing, really great for dry skin and uh, sensitive skin, acne, literally just really great. Eczema, very, very good. Um, I use them all year round, as I had said, and that's always how I start my routine. So once we're done with our skincare, which is that, that's it, it's a two step, that's literally it. I go in with the Australian Gold Tinted Moisturizer. This I do in replace of foundation and it is in deep dark. It also has SPF, I believe it's 50. So it gives me my sun protection all year round, which is important even on like cloudy days, even on overcast days, you still need SPF and this has it. I use deep dark because I'd rather it be a little bit dark for me and I could change it up with my concealer than it be too light and I look like Pee Wee Herman because that is what happens when it's too light. Make sure you blend a tinted moisturizer really well, especially if it's a darker color, because you want to make sure that you don't have any harsh lines anywhere. This is it for foundation. We're not putting anything on top of this in regards to foundation. This is really great for mature skin. Um, anybody who has wrinkles, anybody who just has a hard time getting used to liquid foundation, cream foundation, powder foundation, tinted moisturizer is the way to go. It's so lightweight. Then we're going to go in with concealer and I'm going to put this on with a beauty blender. I don't have a particular concealer that I love the most overall. I'm just trying to go through my concealers right now and just get get rid of them So whatever concealer works good for your under eyes is what I would recommend I put this on to cover up majority of anything I have going on on my face So I use it for my under eye bags I use it for the red mark that was on my face and I also use it to help kind of contour But I wanted to leave in a lot of this of, of me actually patting it down because so much goes into a smooth application of this, like so much blending goes into this. So it's really important and that's why I wanted to keep it on. Um, as I had said, I go under my eyes. You've definitely seen me do that before in a video. You probably never saw me put it on these spots. So I put it on my lip, I put it on my forehead, and then I also go down like the T-zone, the T line, like the T line over there, or whatever, the T-zone. I also go down over there and put it down my nose slightly. I feel like this is really important. Less is more. I have a bit of a crooked nose, um, actually very crooked nose. And so this helps out my nose um, by putting it just very lightly in the middle of you know the upper part of my nose. It just kind of reflects light and I just think it's better. But again, blending is really important. Less is more, you could always add more later. Then I go in with the RCMA setting powder with the same beauty blender. This is from Real Techniques and it's the no color loose powder and I literally bake the crap out of my face. Um, not everybody likes to do this, especially if you have like dry skin, you might not want to do this. But if you like the way my makeup looks and you feel like, you know, whatever, this is what I do. So that's what I do. Then I also go up the sides of my nose. As I had said, my nose is crooked and I want to make sure that I give my nose the best chance I can. So I go back in with the um, RMCA setting powder. I re-dip and put more on and I let that bake on my nose, on my face, on everything. I mean, just look at when I do this, you can see what a difference it makes on my nose. You can see that I have a very bulbous tip and then you can also see that it is definitely crooked to one side. And just putting the setting powder on it, for me, I think it helps without overcomplicating it and making it look more crooked. Then I go in with the BH Cosmetics. It is the highlight and bronzer kit. I believe it's a dupe for the Anastasia of Beverly Hills one. I love it. It's really great. And I take the corner of the brush of like a, like a kabuki brush and I dip the corner of it in and I just carve out my face. I do C shape. So you want to do, I use this to contour and to bronze. You want to do anywhere the sun would hit. Um, and you could also do like an E shape. So if I didn't have such a defined jawline, I would definitely do like my jaw, but I have naturally a defined jawline. I also put this on my nose. This is very important for the crookedness of my nose and also so my nose doesn't get lost on my face. Then I go in with the same palette it's just a different flat brush and I use the corner and I literally carve out underneath like I use this this is one of the lighter colors in the palette and I use this to give me like nebula like like face 
like, you know, Nebula from like Guardians of the Galaxy, like that's what I want. I want it to look very harsh on the side. That's the look I like. If you don't like that, then don't do that. Then I wipe off majority of what was on that brush. The I keep looking at it to make sure that I'm not adding any more product, but that is when I go in and I wipe away that RMCA setting powder. I do that at this time um, because I feel like it's, it's good. Um, and we're almost done. So thanks for staying tuned. Now we're gonna go in with the blush. I always use the, I think it's so retrograde or retrograde, it's by ColourPop. It's the Kathleen Lights one. It's an orange color. I love orange, so I love to incorporate it. On this side, I went a little too heavy and oh, I always put it on my nose. Make sure you put it on your nose so that your nose doesn't get lost on your face. Um, and that's kind of like, the extent of it. Then I'm gonna go back in with that Kabuki brush that I use and I'm just gonna blend out because I put way too much on. So this step is if you put too much blush on, that's what you do. This is the end result. I hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe.